All right, I'm back. So, true to form, my uh, phone's battery took a shit right in the middle of videoing that. But I've got it charging and getting back to doing the inking. A uh, little demonstration inking just to give you an idea. Um, there goes the page. So, like I said, normally when I'm doing this, I'm, I'm flipping the page around a lot as I go. Part of that is just to get the right angle um, to attack the lines. And let's see, I'm just putting some of the stuff here on my desk. Um, I'm not real great at putting lines down without getting this sort of, I don't know how well you can see it here, getting this bit of rough edge from the belly side of the bristles. Uh, the, belly, the, point, the point is obvious on the brush. Uh, the belly side is this wide side basically when you go and you know push the brush against the paper it you know the point side takes on that's really dry on there so the point side takes on a smoother edge and then the um, belly side kind of tends to leave a rougher edge so I usually end up going back and kind of cleaning it up like this basically putting down two lines it takes it a little longer but the result is a little cleaner um, you know with with I like to try and leave some sort some indication of texture like with this her, her, her jacket's supposed to be leather uh, so that's one of those things where I could leave a little bit more of a rougher rougher texture and doing that what I would do is kind of tilt the brush to the to the inside a little bit and have the have the point on the outside and like that and then kind of leave the inside a little bit rougher to imply that texture um, this is really kind of awkward with me holding the camera in one hand but, um, You know, I don't know how well that's going to actually reproduce on the page because it is pretty subtle uh, on the printed page. That is because that's what we're going for. This is going to be printed, so you know, as as immaculate as I might get the artwork here, you know, is it's important to bear in mind that once it's on the printed page, it's probably going to be processed and look a little different. And the printer's never. This is you know, this is 11 by 17 for each of these two pages. So and it's going to be reduced down to like ten by ten and three quarters by eight and change or seven and change. I forget what the dimensions are. So it's going to be reduced, and that's part of the regular process of printing. So you know, I can get I can get really super detailed with it, but some of that detail is going to fall out of the of the of the image anyways. So it's you know. Yeah, I want it to be perfect, but at the same time, you know, keep my perspective on it and not get too wrapped up in all of it. But that's um, that's how I kind of attack those bigger lines. You know, final lines like this. Um, this is her cape. It runs down across her shoulder and then back again over her, her back. Um, so these kind of lines can be a little bit more airy. Um, just getting at them, you know, they don't need to be quite so precise. That's kind of wobbly, but, um, you know, whatever. At this point, it's, 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 um, I'm just trying to indicate some lighting on the, on the, here, on her, um, cape, which is white. Her jacket is white. This area is black in the chevron. Her j shorts are black. So I'm going to, um, you know, I'm going to try and imply some of those colorations in the ink, especially since I don't expect that I'll be printing this in color um, right now anyway. So, oh god, my hand's all shaky. I normally do a little bit of warm-up before I get into the inking. Um, you know, just grab my sketchbook and, like, ink on a face or whatever, but I didn't do that this time, and it's kind of showing. So, let me get back here and just calm down a little bit. Mm, wiggly lines, wiggly lines. Anyway, you get the point. I'll try and get, um, maybe I'll get somebody else to hold the camera and try and get, um, 
a little better footage of me actually doing proper inking. Um, so that's uh, you know that's my basic approach to how I how I do inking. Um, as I keep doing these videos, I'm going to just basically tackle day to day issues. Um, one of the things that I'm going to really sort of focus on isn't so much the the uh, I don't want to do all the same shit that you already see in videos and, and books and whatever. So I'm going to start tackling a little more of the mental process. Um, why I do things in certain orders. Why I do things um, this way or that way. Um, you know, there's a lot of different ways to skin a cat as the saying goes. And there's, over the years of experience, I've developed certain mentalities behind why I do certain things. Um, so I'm going to try and explain some of that because one of the things about comics is that there aren't really any schools of training. Like I've got a web design background or, or, or um, <laughs> degree. It'll come to me. Degree, and uh, you know, there's very specific ways to do that. You know, the techniques to be taught, and ment mentalities to have when you're doing it. Um, with comics, it's it, there isn't really any organized um, academic approach to it at this point. It's starting to get there. Um, there's some great people doing some great work, especially uh, Dr. Matt Smith. I'm giving you a shout out in particular since you're local. And um, so I, you know, I've had to develop my own thinking behind all this stuff and I've used a lot of books I got a whole let me get it over here got a whole pile of books over there if you can see them of of instructions on how to um, how to draw and what I've learned over the years and I've you know taken that and developed it and practiced it and then added my own theories on top of it so I'm going to be sharing that that's that's more or less what the gist of this is and just other business type stuff um, that's one of the things artists and business people kind of don't mix very well, but being in the freelance side of it and being, I want to go into the publishing side of it as well. Um, you know, I got to get my head on my ass about that stuff. I got to understand the business side of it, whether I'm very natural at it or not. And, um, even if I, hopefully in the future, I'll be able to hire somebody that can handle more of that sort of thing or have a partner or what have you, which if you're a partner in making, let me know. Email me, uh, Brian Latimer one one seven at Gmail. Um, which, if you have any comments or whatever, and you want to just email me directly, it, that's wide open to anybody that wants to do that. Um, I'd love to hear from you because it gets lonely in this cold, cold studio. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's basically going to be the gist of this. It's not going to be a how-to. It's going to be what I'm doing. It's it's. You know, it's more, almost more of a diary, I guess you could say. So, anyway, um, if you haven't subscribed since this channel is pretty much brand new, please do so. Uh, like my videos. Uh, we all know the drill. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on, I just started an Instagram and a, and a, a Tumblr account. Um, look me up on both of those. They're under my proper name. Oh, Instagram is B, B underscore Latimer. Um, so, yeah. If not anything else, just email me and uh, chat me up, whatever. So, anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thanks.